Guys, I can't believe it. Guys, guess what we're driving? Guys, well, anyway, hello guys, welcome back to the farm. Um, uh, guys, I can't believe it, man. I, I just can't believe it, man. You're so serious. What did you buy this time? I bought it on the vlog yesterday, and you must know what it is by looking around. We are in our brand new combine, and this is the thing. It's a class combine. You can't see it that well. It's so good. I bought it off um, Farmers Marketplace um, Facebook. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so happy with it. It looks really good. I haven't showed you outside. It's the biggest thing I've driven in my life. But uh, yeah. Right, um, our field, we're going to do some field work today. Oh uh, yeah, we'll use the butcher comfort or the Massey Ferguson. Massey Ferguson. <laughs> um, but the butcher, it's actually called the butcher comfort, guys. Um, oh, the grass needs cutting again. We're going to have to cut the grass again. But it's actually called a butcher comfort. It is actually called a butcher comfort, guys. So... <laughs> Come on, get that corner, yes. Right, I just uh, showed you the drone cam. Here it is. Right, so this is the camera which is going to be on the combine. So I set up. I got a a YouTuber used to own this. Uh, his name was uh, Dagawin. I think this was his whole combine in Latin, and it's been fully restored. So, so they put this on. So, so, guys, here is our class combine. Yeah, it's mega. It's sick. It's a big, big. It's a dominator. It's a beast. So this is like 1983, no, I don't know what year this is from, um, even though I just bought it, <laughs> but like, I think it's from the 1980s, so this is a 1983, no, 1984, I think, 84, Class Mega Dominator, uh, Class Mega Dominator Maxi, so this is sick. This is an awesome combine. Now I used to think, oh, Class is the really old farmers thing, but you know, Class is uh, top of the range. So, man, this is uh, about 1990s actually, about 1990s. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's a good machine. Right, let's uh, let's hop onto the brush cutter and let's go and um, let's go and get some um, let's go and get some food. And um, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Let's go and cut the grass. So now, um, well, speaking about it, we could go and get the grass cutter, the mower at, at the dealership. I ordered it. We can go and get it with the Matthew Ferguson. So, guys, I'm so happy. And oh yeah, guys, I grinded that stump, which <coughs> was bugging me. Now, we are getting the pickup truck very soon. I just haven't got the money yet. Um, it was about £1,000. Dennis changed his mind. He wanted more money for it. So, yeah. But um, I've decided... Uh, if Dennis pays for, I'll pay for, oh yeah, so it's going to a garage soon, um, it's going to have a lift kit put on it, so I'm quite excited, so that's why, that's what, that's why I'm earning some money, sorry, I didn't mean to say that, so, yeah, it's, it's going to, it's going to a garage soon, a proper, like, 4x4 four four, uh, garage, so, 
it's going to be minted up there and uh, yeah so yeah it's a uh, it's a good old truck so I'm I'm happy with it I'm I'm really happy with it we'll go and get our bag as well reminding you guys that we should be able to drive safely with our bags right, let's pop this up alright uh, we'll get this oh for goodness sake I think I need some better pallet forks these old Ursus ones they're all of bent, bent forks so hopefully they should be good but yeah so this is the first ever job with the 5610 so I'm looking forward to it oh yeah typical farmer's tractor man the 5610 is so nice and oh yeah there's a egg box as well so we'll go and pop that in the shed in a minute I'm so happy with the farm and all the income um, so, yeah, and you know, the farm is, uh, I tell you, it's, it's going well, it's going better than you think, you know, the, you know what, for a £200,000 farm, I tell you, it's a good little property, but, yeah, you know, I still not. Are you serious? My bag's just come off. <laughs> That's what makes it more funny, more angry, more like. But you know, but you know, I'm. Uh... But you know, that's uh. That's the thing which will make it more I need the bag will fall off so hopefully hopefully um oh, I can't drive from the bushes anymore. That's a shame. So So anyway, um, no, 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 no. Don't you dare, bag, bag. Don't you dare. Right, we're gonna quickly drop it off in the Piaggio. Um, yes. Now, I'm so happy with the farm. We need to get rid of these Sunday, but uh. I haven't got the time at the moment since I'm so busy. Now we're going to dump it in the bag, drive it over to the farm. So, right, down there. Right, guys, um, here we go. I've got to say, guys, the Piaggio is awesome. I think the engine, the new engine sound. I think it makes it more fun. So, right, we'll uh, we'll pop the eggs in here. So, 
So it's hard to get in the shed to let you know guys. So we'll pop we'll sell all these eggs one day. When when we've got a shed full, we'll sell them. So when we've got a whole floor full, we'll uh, we'll sell them, we'll get a few thousand pounds. guys that was just my drink but anyway um so actually no we don't need to back it in so we just we're just gonna leave it there for now um and um, we're gonna go and get the 5610 um well actually no before that um we're going to go just uh quickly travel uh, we're going to go and get our 5610 tracks on Massey Ferguson. We'll drop the mower and we're going to do some, we're going to cut the lawn, so. With the old girl. Yeah, she's our, she's our lawn tractor now. Hopefully this will work with it anyway. I think it will work. <laughs> yep. Yep. Guys, that fan is deadly. Let's let's go. It's cutting nicely, guys. So, uh, yeah, the old girl, uh, she works. Got her back in use. <laughs> Man, this trap's away. Yeah, the tanks. Right, so we're going to we're going to um, start going. Um, we're getting the corners, um, like, whoa! Ugh. That's the problem with these things. They're, uh, they're wheelies. <laughs> so when we get, yeah, when we get the front loader on this, guys, um, it'd be good, but I've got to say, I haven't been. I haven't used this tractor that much, and it's been it's been running quite good. Like I haven't used it since like 50 years ago. So maybe I should give it a service. But for now, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I checked out the oil. Um, it was all. It was literally there was nothing in it. But then I looked in the engine. It was a bit wet because this thing was in a flood. This thing was in the flood in the 1950s so no in the 1970s so this tractor it keeps pulling wheelies on me it's so annoying stop 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 so i mean i'm happy with it i think it's a good machine no, 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 no! Oh, stop it, you stupid tracks <laughs> are. It, it just addicted. It's just addicted to pulling wheelies. Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, this is a Lamborghini. <laughs> the Lamborghini of the 19 1950s. I think it's from the 1930s, this tractor. This tractor was about. years old when the thing was a man and I don't know how old it was so you can't ask me oh for goodness sake I think we need <laughs> that is the problem we've got and errors occurred <laughs> joking but uh, yeah guys I gotta say the uh, the old girl she's uh, she's a beast 
Yep. Stop having. Stop pulling a wheelie. Oh my god, stop it. Stop. Stop. It's like it's. It's car. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, you silly thing. Right, we've cut the lawn then. Um, so we're going to go and pop this in the garage. The, the, the place where this will be spending most of its life in the garage as a retired garden tractor. So, right. We'll close it down. I'm uh, happy with how it is. So, anyway, um, we're going to go to the Butcher Comfort, pull it round, and we're going to do some field work today. Yes, we're going to create another field. Now, it's going to be um, in the field where the trees are. Um, so, I'm going to make another field. So the butcher, the butcher, we're going to be using the butcher, I think. I think the 5610, that's a good tractor, but also, that's uh, quite easy to drive, that is. Right. Move the mega out of the way. We haven't used this machinery in ages. I think it was like a few weeks ago, but... <laughs> Probably a month. <laughs> Turn. Boom. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pull the fertiliser spreader out here. I, I don't know how long ago it was when I last used this equipment. Months ago? I don't know. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll, we've got it. Let's check if it's all oiled first. Yeah, that's all greased. That's greased. Um, check the compartment bit. Yeah, that's all greased. The uh, three points, so uh, no swinging. So anyway, guys, we're going to back this up. We're going to um, get this going. Um, So I don't know where we're going to make. Oh, I forgot this. Was our crop was here. I don't know where we're going to make this field. I think we're going to make it here. I think we should make it here because oh, we have got the grass. But I think we should make it here. Yeah, we'll make it here. We need to get as many things as possible, as many fields as possible. <laughs> now obviously, um, the Piaggio APE, that's been really useful to us lately. That's a uh, good little piece of kit, even though it's a three-wheel vehicle. I think it's been doing more than the uh, Mahindra Retriever. I haven't ever used the Mahindra Retriever yet. So maybe we should use the Mahindra Retriever today, since we have not used it. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna go we're going to go um run. Now I am I am so happy with the Piaggio how it's been performing um over the last few days um of my life of the farm anyway guys. The farm would not be a thing without that, that little three wheel car and I am I'm impressed of what it can do, you know, for a, uh, a 1983 wheel car. Well, actually, no, I think it's a 2000s, so a, a few years old, 2017 Piaggio AP Classic. I'm uh, quite impressed. I know I did think it was the 80s. Guys, I actually it is actually from the 2000s, so so minding me, I'm uh, wrong again. But 
anyway, I'm uh, I'm very impressed with how this is going along. Um, but yeah, you know, um, you know, um, I think uh, we I think we need bigger equipment. <laughs> but uh, you know, I think this is very fine for now. We're not using it every day, and you know when we when we do get do get a big farm, I think I think we will be using it every day since you know. But uh, yeah. <sighs> so uh, yeah, the um, yesterday we um, we was doing some logs and we we was clearing up the logs because I want to make a veggie patch there or. Um, no, I would like to make a thingy, um, a grass field there, so a silage field, since we haven't got a silage field, so I'm trying to use as much as possible, or I could put some horses on that field, I'm not sure. Now, there is a horse pen, um, I could make out some wood, uh, and some chicken wire, I'm not sure about the building, but there's a... I think I could make it. Um, I've, I've got a blueprint in the garage. I found it of a horse pen. So maybe because there is a horse race track up there, of course. So you know, horses are about a thousand pounds. But obviously, you have to look after them, and I'm not sure. I'm I'm, I'm not sure if I'd be able to look. If I'd have the time to even look after them. So that's the thing. That is the thing. Now, um, you know, guys, that, um, you know, I've got to say, um, I think this tractor's good. <laughs> Eight mile per hour, so slow. So, yeah, it's, it's so good. Um, I can't believe we got it for 15k. I mean, um, that's better than better than anything I've bought really to be honest so do you know I'm quite impressed with the old girl how she's going we've not used the behavior retriever yet either so hmm. I'm tired I'm actually tired guys it is 9.50 past 9 so I'm looking at my Fitbit so it's 50 past 9 so Nine in the morning. Oh, I've woken up about five o'clock. You know, farmers have to wake up quite early, so I woken up about five o'clock this morning. Um, I sometimes sleep until seven, but it's very naughty of me too, since the farmers have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. So I'm still quite tired anyway. So guys, so pretty much we're gonna cultivate this field um, in in the video. So we're gonna do this and in, in, in the field. So. Now, um, now I'm quite happy with the combine. Um, I, I, I love it. It's so cool. It's, it's amazing. Um, I was driving it round this morning, um, just to get the feel of it. I was driving it round the field, so, so I, I obviously have to take for a, a test going it soon. Probably when, when our barley crop grows. Oh God, that's nearly grown. Wow. Look at this! Wow! Look at it, guys! Wow! It looks so good. You, you can actually flatten it. 
guys, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. We did this earlier this year, um, so about a month ago, like two months ago. We did this earlier this year, so so I'm quite happy with it. But uh, yeah. Yes, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Yay. Oh, yes. <sighs> oh, my God. So good. So, anyway, guys, we're going to run to the um, Pura. I think it's Pura or Butcher. I call it Butcher. It's a. Uh, I think it is actually Bureau. I think it is actually. I got it incorrect. But I call it Butcher anyway, so. Oh, it has been since I've been Care Farmer Simulator. Now, this was my favourite um, chapter in Farmer Simulator 15, actually. So. Right, we'll, we're going to go for widey, big, big widey, and we're going to slam, boom, that slowed the chapter down. <coughs> right, so, we don't want to drive through our crop, um, so we're going to drive, whoa, um, so we're going to pop some seed in the APA for the next video. I um, hope you all enjoyed this vid. Uh, please subscribe guys. Um, let me do this. Get in. Close the door. There we go. So guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'll do more. And thanks for watching. As we drive the idea out. as we drive and fit. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.